Shimmer is the WrestleMania of women's independent wrestling. It is women from all over the world that are known for their work rather than just being sexy or whatnot. This is pro wrestling with female athletes. We're giving them more of an opportunity. We're allowing them to showcase their athleticism. We're not here for a bunch of goofy stories. We're not here for showing you the goods. We're not gonna give that to you. We're not the side dish, we're the main dish. We are the mean potatoes of women's wrestling. You're gonna see brawling, you're gonna see technical wrestling, you're gonna see high flying, and you're gonna see women in a capacity you might not normally see. Shimmer is the only league of its kind in America. While there are other women-centric promotions, they don't have the same mandate to specifically highlight female athleticism. Within the American wrestling system, there's been a lot of talk recently about a women's revolution. The buzz has grown so popular that even the large corporate wrestling companies have had to take notice and change the presentation of women's wrestling. A great deal of responsibility for this changing tide is owed to the organizers of Shimmer and the women they feature. Without them, the world of pro wrestling would still be living in the past. I think out of all the wrestling shows I've been to lately, and I've been to a lot lately, this is one of the most respectful audiences, certainly in, in America or Canada that I've ever seen. Is that something that was like that from the very beginning, or is that something you've had to cultivate here? Back when we first started this in 2005, women were facing the problem, particularly on the indies, when we would hit the ring at any kind of regular show, I would say, like a mostly male show, fans would openly get up and go to the bar, get something to drink, get a snack. I've done shows where the fans pick their chairs up, turned them around and sat like this with their backs to us to make us know that we weren't welcome, that we were taking away from male matches that they wanted to watch. Where do you think that animosity towards women's wrestling comes from? It's just straight up misogyny. And it goes back to the old school mentality of men are the leaders, men do the heavy lifting, women just stay in the background and do this. And I think deep down it's ingrained in a lot of fans' heads that this isn't what women do. And a lot of fans just didn't like it. They felt we were encroaching on the territory of something they loved. We've had women's wrestling over the years and, and, and then we had GLOW, which openly acknowledged most of those people were actresses playing a part. So they're used to seeing these amazing athletics from the men, and then the women are trying to catch up and given that opportunity. And the women who could wrestle were held back for not being pretty enough. Back then, women's wrestling, in my experience, from what I've been through, it was just sexualized. Bra and panty matches, mud matches, specialty matches. And I'm sure it was a lot worse before I started. So when we started Shimmer and, and Prezak pitched the idea, we really wanted to find that niche and find the people who believed in women's wrestling and believed in the athletes that we have and that we present. And we started getting away from the cat fights and the evening gown matches. And no matter who told us it was wrong, we knew here and here it was right. And so we just kept going. We're like, all right, they don't like it. Let's move to the next person. We weren't gonna be able to change everybody's minds, but if we worked really hard, we would be able to educate some people on what we do and change minds that way. It wasn't until when I came out with my story that I realized how many people were supportive. It was just crazy that not only is it just like my friends at Shimmer or 
my friends at Impact. It was everybody, like people I've never even met before. And it was, it was refreshing to know I'm not crazy. That glass ceiling, we're shattering it. You know, granted still to this day, we're not getting paid as much as men and we still have some obstacles, but we'll take the little victories. I think with the platform that I am given, I don't want to be selfish and just focus on me. It's not about me, it's about the issues that's going on right now. When I'm done wrestling, I want people to say, she's the one that opened up about domestic violence. Now look at what's happened with that story.